Voila, we're back, right? We rebooted the system. We're still on Endeavor OS, but we can do our updates like this and, and the poll and all that. It's available thanks to the ATT. You see that our repos are here and can install anything of the 500 packages that we have. Now, I want to build an ISO one here, but first let, let's a little bit rising, please. A little bit of rising. We have to look at it, right? So settings manager, appearance, um, arc dark, and then icons, school gear, dark, and font sans regular. Let's see, let's take something that we normally don't. That's always fun. Pomodoro bolt, a bit bigger. This is Pomodoro, right? Not bad at all. So voila, you test it out a little bit better. We have to work with it after all. So, yep, nice. The browser, we go to the internet. We want to build an ISO of ArcLinks. So we go to ArcLinks B because we want to build. We want to build your own ISO. And in the tutorials here, Underneath, I'm going to add more and more stuff. Building ArcLinks ISO on ArchCraft. Building ArcLinks ISO on Endeavor OS. And, and Garuda is the next. And we got these playlists. And from time to time, I'll test that if it's still working. Right? So we need to choose something. We need to choose an ISO. We can choose any of these guys. Um, it um, really doesn't matter. Um, I always would take CHDW as uh, I'm a fan. This has just been done under Archcraft. Maybe, yeah, maybe we can use the Arclinx D and then explain how a bare ISO can be fun. Control C on the desktop is where I do my Control Shift V. And in here, the only thing you need to remember is that you run number 40. One is to save some bandwidth. That's 30. And the other one, uh, sorry, that's 40. And the other one is 30. Now I do see something red up here. We did need to of the system. So it seems that we don't have the Arch ISO version. But what does it do? The script says, oh, Arch ISO is not installed, so it's going to install, and that's the correct version, number 70. So this is basically pseudo pacman minus s Arch ISO. It needs that, it needs that, it needs that, it needs that, it needs that. And off it goes, building ISOs. And let's make this bigger. Which, these are the five lines that matter always. The key ring the integrity of the packages third line was it ends with disk space i think the package files the conflicts and is there room enough disk space right and then it's just off now you know everything will work you can there might be mistakes but normally right 99 percent of the time this is gonna work right? we can't drag it to the side here that's a pity. I think I can fix that if. I think I can fix that if. Where was it again? The window manager? No, always the same thing. One of those two. This one off, this one on. Voila, that was the one. So we've got Broadcom WL, DKMS needs to be built. We've got NVIDIA. That's going to be built, not here, eh? on the ISO. So here's the ArcLinks build, and here's later on where everything is gonna go. So the ArcLinks D out, that's where the ISO will come. And it's just wait, wait, wait till he build it. He builds this NVIDIA on this guy in here, in there. This is your future system. 
And if you're wondering, somebody asked uh, only yesterday, what's the personal folder doing there? That's something specific that we only have. And what well, you know, there is a in the menu of Erkings B something to explain what it's all about and some examples. Eight videos about the personal folder. Now we're going to install, well, not install, but yeah, yeah, sure. Install, build first, right? DKMS install. That takes some time to build all these things. Point is, we try to give support for certain kernels, uh, sorry, certain drivers in this case, RTL, Realtek, NVIDIA, Broadcom, wireless, wireless. Shall we take another wallpaper? Once you know all the wallpapers, don't know that one, then yeah, fun is out, eh? it's, there's no fun anymore. Uh, let's do this and this. Haven't seen that one yet. Hmm. They can surprise you from time to time, that's fun. And now we're building already nicer. So yes, I guess there's already proof that this is gonna work, but do we have VirtualBox on this machine, right? So VirtualBox, VirtualBox. It's not yet installed. Now me personally, right, Eric, personally, will create a folder called data. He will go and git clone all the scripts that he has created in the last 10 years, right? Git clone HTTPS github.com. I'm Eric Dubois. Hi, and Arclex Nemesis is my knowledge to make any Linux distribution. Well, I'm focusing on Arch, of course, the way I want it. So if I run zero, this machine will completely be changed because in here I make rules up. If I am on a riser, if I'm an arch man, if I'm an arch in archcraft, if I am, where is he? And therefore OS do this and this and that. So yeah, the firewall will go out then. So what I want now is a virtual box. So install virtual box for Linux. That's the one I want. What am I doing? Open terminal here. Install virtual box for Linux. And there's LTS hardened, just a simple Linux. I actually don't know, control T. Uh, yep, the simple kernel, cool. Linux headers was there already, skipping, but we need this one. Of course, virtual box. And that's a pause. <laughs> right, I'm back. And one of the things I prefer to do this is that we have this removing all the messages virtual box produces. There are these things you have to click away these these yellow buttons from time to time on the clean install and i hate it when that happens over and over and over so there is a little code in there that says don't do that and and that's why i rather go this way and not be frustrated <laughs> let's wait for the iso to pop out here And there we are, we have an Arclinx D. Where are you, my friend? In the Arclinx D out folder with an ND5 checksum with, interesting, a list of all the packages that is on the ISO. But there are like 14, 15, maybe 20, around that number of packages on there that also are needed for, yes, Calamaris. So they get removed after installation. So you don't see them on the future system. Voila, next video will uh, 
reboot and we'll have VirtualBox and we'll test out the Arc Linux D. Cheers.